Hello everyone, Fish here. Thank you for joining me. It has been a while since I have gone out on a Blues Day Tuesday and made a video for you guys, but here I am, August 1st, first Blues Day Tuesday of the month, and we've got some great movies that have uh, come out today. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off for the first time on 4K. There should be a steelbook and a regular 4K release. Uh, also, Cinderella for the first time on 4K. Nightbreed from uh, Scream Factory, first time on 4K. And a re-release, uh, it's been on 4K before, but this is the 25th, uh, 25th anniversary edition of The Big Lebowski. So it is getting a re-release for its anniversary. I am actually posted up outside of Best Buy. I'm gonna run in here and see what they've got for us. I think I might hit up Vintage Stock because it's been a minute since I've been over there as well. So thank you for joining me. Let's head on in here and see what they've got for us. Alright, Best Buy, what have you got for us today? Alright, coming up on the new release rack. Oh, I forgot Two Guns was coming out. Ten, two Guns with Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg for, on 4K. Got the nice little slip cover there. It's pretty cool there. Um, so, yeah. $21.99 for this. And then also has a steelbook, Best Buy exclusive steelbook for $29.99. That's pretty cool looking. All right. Oh, sorry about the glare there. So that's nice. That's nice there. Uh, of course, um, because I haven't done a video in like a month, there you have all the uh, Mission Impossibles on uh, Steelbook here uh, at Best Buy and also should be on Amazon as well. These are all $25.99 for one, two, and five, and $27.99 for three, four, and six. Okay, that's weird. But anyways, they've got really great artwork on the, the covers of these. I have not actually bought any of these, but I am very, very tempted to do so in the future. All right. So they do have the Big Lebowski on Steelbook, Best Buy exclusive. Oh, poor guy there. Good thing it's a Steelbook and not a slip cover, right? Okay, so that is $23.99, Big Lebowski Steelbook. They've got quite a few copies there. Scream 6, Blu-ray, 4K, $31.99 for the 4K, $39.99 for the Steelbook there. That is a nice Steelbook. I did actually grab that last month. Um, vacation, 4K. Uh, Alright, there is uh, Sisu Blu-ray, $21.99. So got Creed Steelbooks, Quantum Mania. So got Rebel Without a Cause. Oh, also, uh, East of Eden came out today on 4K. Um, so another James Dean title. Still got uh, Dread on 4K for $19.99. Nice steel book there. Uh, all right, Pulp Picture, Wakanda Forever. Still got copies of those steel books. All right, let's see what they got on the flip side. And on the back side here, we do have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Did I mention that in the intro? I don't think I did, but uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Steelbook, Best Buy exclusive there. I have not seen this movie yet. I work at a movie theater and I completely missed out on that one. They got the Blu-ray there. That's got a nice uh, embossed slip cover there. That's really, really nice. $27.99, sorry, $38.99 for the Steelbook. Uh, $27.99 for the Blu-ray. And here is the 4K, this nice white slip cover. So, and that is $33.99. Um, next row down, we do have Ferris Bueller's Day Off. $22.99 for the 4K slipcover and $23.99 for the Steelbook. This Steelbook is the exact same Steelbook <laughs> that they used for the Blu-ray. And I'm not buying this Steelbook again. So if I do buy this to get it on 4K, I will be going with the $22.99. Slip cover there because exact same seal look 4K, exact same as the Blu ray. It's ridiculous. We still have copies of the Shazam Fury of the Gods steel book here $36.99, Jaws 2 4K, 45th anniversary $21.99. I did actually grab the steel book, which they are actually out of at this store, and Super Mario Brothers 4K, Lord of War steel book, Italian job. 4K and 4K Steelbook, $24.99, $22.99 for the regular 4K. This is the cheapest I've seen this Steelbook in a while. So, Knock at the Cabin, $28.99 for the Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. 
not bad considering it has been at $38.99 or $39.99 pretty much the whole time it's been out so not a bad deal and there we have the regular 4k and the blu-ray there I'm gonna travel to the back of the store here and see what they've got in the regular 4k and blu-ray section so I'm um, uh, kind of curious they were um, actually had quite a few sales that I saw on uh, blu-ray.com so sometimes that uh, goes over to Best Buy so I wonder if the, some of this stuff is $9.99 here at the store so let's see Alright, well some other new releases here. We've got About My Father with Robert De Niro uh, Maggie Moore S. Maggie Moore's um, Previous Week's Kandahar uh, with Gerard Butler, Fool's Paradise uh, with Charlie Day. I think this is a new release for this week. Knights of the Zodiac is $23.99. We've got a uh, release for last week. War of the Worlds is $22.99. Uh, last week it was $19.99. I'm not sure if you can price match that or if it's uh, gone up. Team America World Police on Blu-ray. Uh, My Best Friend is a Vampire on Blu-ray for $11.99 with this uh, cool Collector Series Vestron video slip cover there. I love those slip covers. They're really sweet. All right, all right. Well, we do have Nightbreed on 4K Collector's Edition with a slip cover. Um, I think I can't remember how many discs this has. Four discs. This has four discs in here. Uh, Thirty-two ninety-nine for this 4K. And this poor guy in the back has been absolutely destroyed. Uh, that hurts my heart. But yes, uh, Nightbreed on 4K. Uh, I mean, I saw that so many years ago. I haven't seen it since it came out on probably VHS. That's how long it's been. Um, but I am interested in checking it out, um, especially on 4K. So that's a new release for today as well. Uh, and behind The Little Mermaid, Cinderella is my favorite Disney movie. And here it is on 4K with this gorgeous slip cover. It is fantastic well look at that thing look how it shines so beautiful all right so yes and it is $22.99 for this 4k all right and if you are interested they do have the disney 10 4k steel books uh $27.99 for cinderella i think another new release is uh frozen um the past few weeks uh beauty and the beast and then there's also coco and cars of course the first three original Star Wars trilogy. Some releases from weeks past. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on 4K. Um, this is the one I believe with Megan Fox. Yes, Megan Fox $29.99. Um, also, The Last of Us came out recently on Blu-ray, the first season, and on 4K. $37.99 and $33.99 respectively. Owen Wilson in paint. I believe this is a story about Bob Ross, which is fantastic. Bob Ross was amazing. And that's $14.99. We've got World War Z um, for $29.99 with Brad Pitt there. And oh, the things you will find randomly at a Best Buy <laughs> that I haven't seen ever at, a, at one of my Best Buys. So the Green Mile, Steelbook. 4K, uh, Best Buy exclusive. So yeah, and it's uh, $29.99. That's nuts um, because they uh, actually did, I believe last week, put uh, Cabin in the Woods uh, back out. Uh, so probably some overstock that they're trying to get rid of. So fine by me, I don't have that steel book. I actually do own the movie, so I need to quit double dipping, but, um, but it is a very nice steel book. So, uh, but yeah, <laughs> the things you'll find Something else I haven't seen in store um, with a slipcover fan, uh, amazingly enough. Uh, Coming to America, $24.99 on 4K there. All right, well, last week these titles went up in price, went to regular price, and now they're back down to a sale price. So, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, $12.99. Uh, Brokeback Mountain, which I believe just recently got a 4K announcement, which is uh, the Blu ray there for $9.99. Uh, Rose, $12.99. Clueless, $11.49, Mean Girls, $9.99, and Moonlight, $6.99, Rocket Man, $12.99. Okay, all these sports titles last week had gone back up in price as well, and they came back down. So you got American Underdog for 
Um, any given Sunday for $7.99. I still need to grab that. I still don't own that on Blu-ray. I think I'm just holding out for a 4K. I don't know if it'll ever come though. Ah, uh, Warner Brothers, please. Warner Brothers, maybe. It's possible. Anyways, uh, Caddyshack, $5.99. Got Friday Night Lights for $5.99. Field of Dreams, 4K for $13.99. Draft Day, $6.99. You got Coach Carter for $7.99. Cinderella Man for $5.99. Uh, some great titles down here. Uh, Million Dollar Arm, $5.99. Miracle for $5.99. Moneyball, $8.99. Uh, Over the Top, $5.99. Remember the Titans for $3.99. And if you don't own the Sandlot, come grab it. It is only $3.99 right now. Okay, here's here's one of the uh, sale price or sale items that I was uh, talking about that I saw on Blu-ray.com. Shazam, 4K for $8.99. That's a fantastic deal. Okay, I believe you can still price match the Wishmaster collection on Blu-ray.com or through Amazon for $17.99, I believe, for this uh, set. So a few dollars off. Every dollar helps, right, guys? All right, here is another one of the deals I saw on Blu-ray.com. So here it's Patriot Games on 4K with Harrison Ford for $9.99. If you have waited to grab Ticket to Paradise, um, you can price match this with Blu-ray.com, which Amazon.com, ship sold. Ticket to Paradise, George Clooney, Julia Roberts. It's $23.99 in store, $10.99 on Amazon. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. I've got what I uh, came in for, and I'm gonna head off to Vintage Stock and see if they've got anything fun and new and exciting for me. Uh, so we're gonna get out of Best Buy and head on over there. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I got really lucky at a Vintage Stock. <laughs> I found something that I never thought I would find out in the wild. Um, so I will actually be showing that off um, in uh, the uh, reveal of what I found today plus uh, some other things that I uh, haven't had a chance to uh, show you guys of, like the uh, Prime Day sales and stuff like that so let's get in here and see what they've got for us all right well they do have Guardians of the Galaxy on blu-ray and DVD no 4k Nightbreed on 4k for $34.99 here $22.99 Ferris Bueller slipcover, uh, two guns, $22.99. They do have East of Eden with James Dean. I'm actually going to wait for that to go on sale because that is way too much for just this uh, slipless uh, edition with just a commentary as a special feature. That's ridiculous, 30 bucks for that, but I will eventually get it. They also have also have Cinderella here for twenty three ninety nine. I think it's a dollar cheaper at Best Buy. Um, but yes, about my father, also on Blu Ray and DVD. So I married an axe murderer here. They do have Magic Cop, um, Undefeatable, World War Z. Uh, let's see, Night Screams on four K for twenty two twenty nine ninety nine. They do have Needful Things on four K for twenty five ninety nine from Kino Lorber. And on Blu-ray for $19.99. Wow, and we have this uh, this Halloween set, the complete collection for $119.99. That's the 10 disc set. That is minus the two Rob Zombie movies, I believe. <laughs> I love when I happen upon stuff like this. Oh, this is a really sweet Blu-ray DVD box set of The Sound of Music. It's 40 bucks, limited edition, out of 250,000. So that's one of my favorite musicals that looks amazing. That is a, like a musical collector's dream right there. So right up my alley. All right, everyone. I forgot to do an outro uh, for when I was leaving Vintage Stock. Um, I just uh, just got my stuff and left. I grabbed a few. I grabbed a couple things in there while I was in there. Um, but uh, so obviously I am home now um, and I'm happy and excited to show you guys what I've gotten today for uh, new release Tuesday, August 1st, Blues Day Tuesday. Also, I'm going to show off what I got in the Prime Day deals and some random stuff throughout the month. And then one massive, huge, 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 awesome purchase 
that I never thought I would find out in the wild. So starting off with today's uh, new release, uh, the only thing I grabbed today was the Big Lebowski on 4K, this uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I'm super excited to check this out. Uh, I've heard great things about this. I've actually never seen this movie. Heard wonderful, wonderful things about Jeff Bridges, uh, John Goodman, Steve Buscemi, a uh, fantastic cast there. Julianne Moore, I believe, is in this as well. So I'm super excited to check this out. Super excited to have this in the collection finally. So Big Lebowski 4K Steelbook. Um, now everything else are obviously older titles. Uh, some stuff is uh, newer for the past weeks. But this one has been around for a really long time. And I finally grabbed it today because I have the other two um, with slip covers and I didn't want to miss out on the third one. So I grabbed uh, for a few dollars more finally on 4K from Kino Lorber. I finally grabbed this uh, slip cover. So I have all four or all three, the good, bad, the ugly, uh, a few dollars more and a fistful of dollars. So I have all those finally. The set is complete with slip covers. Um, next, I finally grabbed this one. This one has been staring at me forever, 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 forever. And I love this movie so much. Um, and I haven't seen it in forever. So The Wraith with Charlie Sheen, Sherilyn Finn. Uh, this is a great movie, a little sci-fi 80s movie. Uh, just a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that one. So I finally grabbed The Wraith um, from Restaurant Video. This is a foreign film, uh, it's a French film that I absolutely adore. I fell in love uh, with uh, the music of this artist after I watched this movie. I did not know a whole lot about um, Edith Piaf, but after I watched La Vie en Rose with Marianne Cotillard, I fell in love with her music. Um, Christopher Nolan uses it in Inception as his uh, kick music. So, uh, La Vie en Rose, Marianne Cotillard, I believe she won Best Actress for this. So I'm super excited to have this. It's only available on DVD in the US, no Blu-ray, so get it while I could. So I grabbed it today. Um, this one was just a little random pickup. I saw it on sale on Blu-ray.com and I didn't own it, so why not grab one of your childhood favorites? And I grabbed an American Tale, the first one. It was $5.99 on Amazon, so grab this bad boy. All right, speaking of Amazon, this is what I got for the Prime Day deals, and I did not get a whole lot for the Prime Day deals, because um, last year I went a little crazy, so this year I kind of toned it down, but I finally did grab this uh, seven movie set for Nightmare on Elm Street, so super excited to have this. I only had the first four on a four pack DVD, so I'm glad to own these on Blu-ray. I heard the transfers for most of the films are not that great, but I don't care. They're Blu-ray. I have them now. And these are one of my favorite series of movies franchise-wise. The Nightmare on Elm Street, fantastic. Freddy Krueger is probably my favorite slasher. Nancy Thompson is my top final girl. So, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. And then she comes back for Dream Warriors. But uh, anyways, moving on, I was on a live stream uh, at the beginning of the year for like goals on Mike's movie, uh, Mega Mike the Movie Man's channel, uh, goals for the year uh, of things movie-wise that we want to do. So this was on sale, so I finally grabbed the James Bond collection. This goes through um, From Russia With Love. Is it Dr. No? <laughs> I can't remember what the first one is. Anyway, starting with Sean Connery and going through all the way through Daniel Craig, except for the very last movie, um, which was also on sale for Prime Day. So I went ahead and grabbed it, so no time to die. So I have every single James Bond movie at my disposal now. So now I just have to dive in and jump on this series because it is one of my goals to watch these movies uh, this year. Um, and the year's half over, more than half over, and I just got this, so I've got some watching to do. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I finally, this one was has been suggested many, many times over, and I finally grabbed The Arrival with Amy Adams. I finally just grabbed this recently, so 4K, I hear fantastic things about it, so super excited to check that out. All right, so after... Uh, a live stream about Scream Factory over on Mid-Level Media's channel. 
I <laughs> I went a little nuts and I found a lot of uh, older uh, Screen Factory titles and one new release. Uh, so I grabbed Dawn of the Dead on 4K. This is probably one of my favorite zombie movies. Uh, man, before Train to Busan, uh, this, Dawn of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, um, Return of the Living Dead, Train to Busan, those are like my top zombie movies. I love those. So Dawn of the Dead finally on 4K. I finally grabbed it. So uh, speaking of older uh, <laughs> Scream Factory titles, I finally picked up Deadly Friend on Blu-ray. Christy Swanson, uh, Massey Laberto. Um, yeah, this one I remember it really loving uh, in the 80s, my younger years. Uh, see if it still holds up. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet, but um, <laughs> this one, this one kind of upsets me, but it's what it is. You know what? I've come to terms with whenever I buy something, they're going to announce it on 4K. Um, a week later, a few days later, two weeks later, a month later, whatever it may be. But yeah, Pumpkinhead, <laughs> I grabbed this and they announced it uh, yesterday on 4K. So Pumpkinhead, I grabbed this a couple weeks ago and they announced it, but it is what it is. Uh, this cover is really fucking sweet though. So um, anyways, Pumpkinhead, I finally own. Uh, and this one I think is super hard to find, especially with the slip cover. And I happened to find it at a slip with the slip cover out of the vintage stop. So Silent Night, Deadly Night. I've never seen this movie. So excited to check it out this Christmas. So there's that. Um, another <clears throat> one that I found on sale on Blu-ray.com and it was full price in Best Buy but um, earlier in the video I talked about if you price match this it's still $10.99 and I grabbed Ticket to Paradise. Uh, George Clooney, Julia Roberts, I've never seen this but I love their chemistry together in Ocean's 11 and Ocean's 12 so I'm really super excited to check this out. Have it in the collection, $10.99 on sale. So <clears throat> another one that I talked about earlier that I price matched is the Wishmaster collection. I got this for $17.99. So a four film set for 18 bucks. Not a bad deal. And it also is that uh, beautiful Vestron collector series. Those cool slip covers. Speaking of, we got the next one, the newer release. Uh, My Best Friend is a Vampire. Um, Sean Patrick Leonard, or sorry, sorry, Robert Sean Leonard, Robert Sean Leonard, uh, 80s movie. I don't remember if I saw this one, and if I did, I barely remember it, but I really don't think so. Um, it, it, it kind of, the look of it kind of gives me um, Once Bitten vibes with um, Jim Carrey, so uh, kind of curious to check this out. It's got David Warner, David Warner's a great uh, horror icon, so... Uh, my best friend's a vampire. Um, speaking of horror icons, I grabbed the steel book for um, the Robert Englund story, Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares. Uh, this goes through his career, so I'm super excited uh, to have this in the collection. I love Robert Englund; he's a fantastic actor. Like I said, Freddy Krueger is probably my favorite slasher um, villain ever. So I'm excited to check this out and see um, what all he's done. I know. Uh, few of his roles other than uh, Freddy Krueger of course um, he was in one of my favorite um, mini series of the 80s uh, V and they also made it a TV movie and then also made a one season series of it so Hollywood Robert England story dreams and nightmares so uh, okay these next two um, <laughs> I was gonna try and wait on a sale on Kino Lorber but um, they are out of stock on the slipcover, so I went ahead and grabbed them at a vintage stock. I picked up The Experts, John Travolta, Kelly Preston, Ari Gross. So this one's a newer release, but it is already out of stock on the slipcover, so I went ahead and grabbed this at a vintage stock. And then <laughs> this one has been out for maybe two weeks, and it is slipcover gone completely. To Live and Die in L.A. on 4K. So I went ahead and grabbed this while I was at vintage stock because they had it. So, all right. All that being said leads me up to the final purchase, or not the final purchase, but like the big purchase of the month. And I cannot, like I said, believe I found this out in the wild. I, I, I was flabbergasted when I saw it sitting on top of the, uh, the shelf um, and I just couldn't believe it. And how great a condition it is in. It has 
one pretty decent ding in it but for the most part this thing is immaculate and i've heard so many issues about these um steelbook box sets but i finally <laughs> i found the rambo box set out of vintage stock oh my god i can't believe i found this um like i said there's one little ding and it's at the top and like i said i won't be showing the top but yep you see it there yep just that one ding there other than that this thing looks fantastic all the steel books are immaculate they all are perfect condition so i found this i can't believe i found this so rambo 4k steelbook box set at a vintage stock I was over the moon when I saw this sitting up there. It was under $200. Um, I found it. Uh, this, <laughs> this was pretty much uh, my purchase for a week. Um, so it was 160 bucks for this set, which is awesome considering I see it on eBay all the time for no less than $200. So for me to find this for 160 is pretty much a, a, a steal. So this piece de resistance um yes the the <laughs> man I, I can't get over it so but thank you very much for joining me for another uh blu-ray tuesday it's been long overdue i'm so sorry but i am back in the saddle i'm ready to get back on youtube and uh hunt and haul and blues day tuesday and also i've got some um movies uh, I want to talk about for Have You Heard Of coming up, so please join me for that as well. Comment down below if you uh, have any thoughts about any of the movies that I've found today or in the past few weeks, anything that I showed off. Also, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content. Thank you very much for joining me again, guys. Um, everyone, you have a wonderful day, uh, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.